Hello my friends this is Ramona and you are watching Vichitra Today in this video we will understand what is a histogram in photography and we'll also try to learn how to read a histogram in your camera Any photo that we capture has three tones in it the highlights the shadows and the mid tones The histogram is that graphical representation of the tonal range of an image or a photo that helps you to evaluate its exposure To see the histogram in your camera you have to press the info button or the display button depending on what camera brand you are using The amount of highlights or whites in a photo is shown in the right side of the histogram and to the left the blacks and the shadows are shown The tonal range in between these two is called the mid tones and is shown in between Now what is highlights shadows and mid tones let me explain it using this photograph the white parts the brightest and the most highlighted area of the image is the highlight the black or the darkest area are the shadows and the tones that range in between the whites and the blacks is the mid tone in a histogram when you see that the values are hitting the right side of the graph it means that your image is overexposed and you are losing details from the highlights and when you see that the value is hitting the left side of the graph it means you have an underexposed image and you are losing details from the shadows when you have all the data in the middle of the graph and it more or less resembles a mountain it means that you have a fairly exposed image but there are some instances where you will find that the highlights in your scene is more and sometimes the shadows will be comparatively stronger you will have to be conscious about how you want to play with your highlights and your shadows in your photographs having said that it is also applicable when you have some creative photographic ideas like these in short there is no such thing as a perfect histogram It is as I have already mentioned a graphical representation of the tonal range of an image. So it is completely up to you as an artist to decide what to do with this information. It is often asked why to depend on a histogram to check the exposure of an image when we already have a rear LCD monitor in every cameras these days. Well, there are some strong reasons behind it. First, the LCD display in the back of your camera is not calibrated very accurately. In fact, it may vary from model to model. Second, you can't see the finer details that you have captured or missed unless you view it full size on a computer screen. Third, while using different picture profiles to capture a photo, your LCD display can show incorrect exposure reading. In such cases you must go by your histogram because different picture profiles has different exposure values. The fourth and final reason is when you are photographing under harsh daylight the image is almost invisible and very difficult to see. For such situations a histogram will be of great help. Well this is what histogram is. very simple to understand and even simpler to read let us know in the comment section below if it was easy for you to understand as well and don't forget to like and share our video and to know more about photography and stuffs related start now by subscribing to our channel bichitra thank you